when somebody gets shot, you know, the first thing is, well, was it a gang member? And, you know, and if it's a gang member, oh, well, then it's like, it's okay. What do you mean it's okay? We love you! We love you! But we will not! But we will not! Allow you! Allow you! To kill! Once again, Father Michael Flager and the men of St. Sabina took to the streets of this Gresham neighborhood in an effort to stop the killing. You know, let's be honest. Most folks in society would be happy if they all disappeared. Do we want to just stop the violence or do we want to save these young men? America would be thrilled if all the violence went down on the shooting stop. But it would only be a pause button if we're not changing lives. Right now, leaders from four rival gangs are coming together, pledging to put an end to the deadly violence that has plagued Chicago all summer long. You know, in a tournament that, that came out of a whole summer of relationship, of going out and talking to brothers on the streets, trying to bring down the violence, trying to do that initial piece of just stopping shooting and uh, what can we do? And I remember going home that night and laying in bed that night saying, damn, what if? Well, today, Father Michael Flager hosted a peace basketball tournament at his church's gymnasium. And then, of course, as we started to put it together, then everybody came and told me, no, city to police department, everybody told me, no, this isn't gonna work, this is crazy. Two weeks before that tournament, two of the gangs had killed one of each on the other side. Um, it was very tense, it was very, um, it was a rough summer, but we kept talking and talking and talking, and then the four leaders who worked with the guys and said, yeah, let's try it. Absolutely amazing, Ravi. You know, they had to send buses to pick up the players so they wouldn't have to cross enemy gang territory on their way to the game. We went forward, and that day exceeded my greatest expectations. You know, a gym full of people, people in the street that couldn't even get in. Tonight's special segment, a new strategy using sports celebrities to help stop the violence. They've teamed up with community and church leaders for a game of basketball. Now this was all made possible with the help of some star power, D. Rose, Taj Gibson, Joachim Noah from the Chicago Bulls, and the legendary Isaiah Thomas, all here today coaching the teams. This is uh, an historical event where the gangs are coming together and they're going to play a game involving peace. It's just about letting them know that they're the solution to the problem. And even though they have been identified as the problem, they really are the solution. And they have power and they have the ability right now to change the world. I grew up with a sister who was mentally challenged and never went past, past the sixth grade. And um, all my life, I was agonized over watching how she was treated, watching her laughed at, watching her called retarded, watching her not be able to get jobs. And that, that was in me. And I had this injustice wrestling in me and didn't tie the knots and tie the dots two years later. This guy named Dr. King marching through Marquette Park. And, and saw two things that changed my life. And number one was um, I saw anger that I'd never seen before. I mean, I saw hate and I watched people screaming and yelling and calling all these racial slurs and it scared me. Um, and I saw people there I knew, people that lived in my neighborhood, went to my church, parents of my family. I saw people that I knew and I'd never seen them like this. The other thing was Dr. King. Here comes Dr. King. I didn't even know until days later he had already been hit by a rock. But he came walking through and he's telling people, we're brothers and sisters, we have to learn to get, live together. And um, I became obsessed with Dr. King. The more I studied about him, I realized that he really believed we could change the world. And he really believed faith was the foundation to which to do it. The laws can change the way you act, but you know, only faith changes the way you feel and think and, and the inside. And um, so he, you know, he, he, you know, he taught me and the blueprint that church is supposed to be an agent of change that that builds agents of change in the pews, and that's where I got my passion from. So let's go, let's go change the world. You may not know this, Father Mike's a white guy. <laughs> I, I can't tell. <laughs> How did he come in a neighborhood of 79th Street and Racine and make a difference? I mean, first of all, it, it's not. 
the color of his skin, you know, the content of his character, the content of his heart. You at, at me, me at first, I was kind of shied away too because everybody said, you know, he's gonna tell the police on, you know what I'm saying? Right. But once he brought me in and said, this is what happened. I need your help. Can you get the guys that's from the area that you come to buy into this peace thing? And so I was like, I don't know, Father. Like they say that you might tell the boy, he's like, no, all I want is peace. Right. And once you get around a person, that which comes from the heart right. really reaches the heart. And you know, he touched my heart and reached my heart, and I couldn't do nothing but help him in the system any way possible. And you know, not only has he been a person that walks up and down 79th Street, but I can actually call him a friend now. You walk in that gym, and you see the passion, the excitement, you see the smiles on kids' lot. You see kids who used to shoot each other, playing ball with each other. You tell me anything's wrong about this, I'm in heaven right now. What does Father Mike mean to you? Man, he mean everything to me. He didn't got us jobs, he didn't, you know what I'm saying? He helped us. It mean a lot, man, just seeing brothers come together, you know what I'm saying? That's from three different, four different areas, six different areas, and just coming together for peace and a change in the neighborhood. No matter who walks away the champion today, everyone wins here. Everyone on the team will get a job. Father Flager says he's partnered with several businesses in the community to make that happen. He says these gang members say opportunities and seeing that someone cares is what they need to make a change. Believe in the potential, the possibility, the talent, the gifts that you got and you believe that. You can't ask anybody to believe in you if you don't believe in yourself. Believe in yourself, go after it, develop your talent, work at it day in and day out, give your all. You know, and, and, and when you get to, to your destiny, you know, throw yourself a party and invite all the people that said you couldn't do it to come and watch you.